First, you want to load a sheet of Craft Attitude film into your inkjet printer. You want to load it so that you're printing on the glossy side, and I prefer to use the manual feed tray so that there's no curl. Try to gang up as many images as you can on one sheet to print. I used PowerPoint to do this. Make sure your settings are set to glossy photo paper with standard print quality. And make sure to reverse any images first before you print if they have text. I'll tell you why in a minute. Gorgeous colors, right? I really liked all the focal images, so I purposely printed them larger, and I'm going to crop them down using this handy little piece of acetate. And we're going to use one of these images for each side of the smooth foam cube. And then I'll do the top and bottom with black paper. And then I printed the um, pattern here of the candy to put on the edge of the disc. Once you know right where you want your image to be cropped, trace around your acetate with a pen and then cut it out. So the glossy side of the film that has the ink on it is going to be against your surface and the underside, which has more of a matte finish, will be showing up front. That's why you need to be aware of whether or not to reverse your image first. Use your fingernail to peel back one little corner of the liner paper and then you're going to cover the surface with the glue stick, then press that corner down and then while the liner is still on there, press it down more and then peel the liner off. And then you can smooth it all out with your fingers and here you can cover all four sides of your cube with different images. Isn't this cute? Then you want to use a black paint marker to finish off the edges of each square and cover up this little bit of white that peeks out from underneath. And after your cube is done, do the same thing with each side of your disc. You can have two different full moon images, one for each side and the candy corn around the edges. And don't forget to ink those edges black with your paint marker. Glue some black cardstock to the top and the bottom of your cube, and then take a six inch long skewer and force it right down through the center of the cube all the way to the bottom. After you've put a pilot hole with another skewer into the edge of the disc, slide it right down on top of that cube, turn it on the diagonal, and you're almost done. Cause you know it ain't finished until you've added the bling. Add some flat back self-adhesive rhinestones and you're all set.